Hello and welcome to this Passion for Dancing video. My name is Leon and this is Kim. And today we're going to teach you guys how to dance at a wedding. And we're going to be using a very popular ballroom dance, the Foxtrot. We're going to do two basic steps of the Foxtrot dance to get you around the room. And you'll be able to use these steps in any social situation, including weddings and parties. And this lesson is going to be straight to the point. We're just going to give you exactly what you need. We're going to show you exactly how to do the counts, the steps, and how to combine everything together so that you can get around the room right away. And if you enjoyed this lesson and you want to learn more moves that you can use at weddings and parties, you can learn more social dancing on our website at passionfordancing.com where we have over 100 video lessons. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just show you what we're after when we're socially dancing. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the Foxtrot basic step right now to move around the room. Yeah, so I'll, I'll teach you in a second how to do this. I just want you to see what we're after. And then once you get to a corner, we're going to do a rock step. And then you're going to do your basic step. So we're going to keep using that one step to get around the room. Nice and easy. We can go all the way to the corner. And then we can do a rock step. So rock step and to turn around. Because the rock step really allows us to turn. Yeah? Again, we can go to the next one using the basic. Once we get to a corner, we can do again the rock step and switch again, again into the basic step until we want to do a rock step to turn around. So basically, I, I hope you get the idea. That's what we're after. That's what the final product should look like. Now, I know you're just starting out, so you probably don't even know the steps. So we're going to break the steps down for both men and women, and we're going to also uh, tell you how to count it so that it works to almost any song out there, okay? So, guys follow me, ladies follow Kim, okay? We're just gonna show you the Foxtrot basic step. It consists of two steps. For the guys going forward two steps, and for the ladies going back for two steps. Guys always start with left, ladies always start with right, okay? So you can pick up that foot just to, so you know which one is starting, yeah? So you can see the heel is up for both uh, Kim and I, so we know which foot is starting uh, to move. So we do two walks, okay? Very simple. Walk one, walk two. Then we go side close. Both partners go side and close. You go side and then close the feet. That's it. That's your foxtrot basic step. That's the main step you're going to be using throughout to get around the room. So again, we're going to do two walks and a side claw and a side close, sorry, and walk, walk, side, close. And let's turn around, we're going to do it again, men starting with left, ladies starting with right, and please do it with us at home right now, we're going to do walk, walk, side, close, and walk, walk, side, close, walk, walk, side, close. Got it? Yeah, if you're not comfortable with it, just keep doing it until you got it, okay? So that's your Foxtrot basic step. And then you can go around the room with it together, yeah? So now we're going to talk about the close hold real quick. So we have men's left arm, ladies' right arm. And then men's right arm goes underneath the lady's shoulder blade. And then the ladies, you're just going to place your arm on the men's shoulder right here. That's it. So now, this arm, forgot to mention, is going to be slightly um, uh, forward in front of you. So the elbows want to stay forward. You want to press forward to your partner so you have a little bit of a connection here. And you want it to be roughly at the lady's eye level. So depending on which, uh, who you're dancing with, uh, your, how tall your partner is, your arm might be here or it might be over here if you have a very tall partner, right? But basically, uh, for Kim, it's going to be right over here where her eye level is. And then this one is right where her uh, shoulder blade uh, ends, is where I place my arm. You want to close the fingers. So you want to be something like this. Yeah, just close them so it looks elegant. And ladies, you're just going to press your arm down here and, and connect to the guy. That's it. That's your 
um, foxtrot ballroom dance hold. Yes, and then from here, we're gonna lower the knees. So you wanna be relaxed with the knees. You don't wanna be up stiff like this when you're dancing uh, socially. You wanna keep it quite soft and knees quite bent. And then we're gonna do the same step we just did together. So we have forward, forward, side close for the guys. And back, back, side close for the ladies. And again, walk, walk, side close. Walk, walk. Side close, walk, walk, side close, walk, walk, side close. You can even do this around the room as well. Walk, walk, side close, walk, walk, side close. So get very comfortable with this step first. And now, how do we count this? Very simply, Slow, slow, quick, quick. So the slow gets two beats and the quick gets one beat. So when you're listening to almost any song out there, uh, it's gonna have a certain beats, yes? And so what you wanna do is you wanna take two beats for the slow and one beat for the quick, yes? So we'll count it out right now and you can do it with us with the count. It's gonna be slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow, turning around, and again, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. Yes, so you want to take your time, listen to the song that's playing, yes, the music is, is playing with um, counts of eight, yeah? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, so if you're doing the slow, slow, quick, quick, it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? Now, you don't need to count in numbers. As long as you feel the beat, just go slow, slow, quick, quick. And for the ladies, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow, quick, quick, and you'll be just fine. And remember that about 90% of the music out there is gonna fit this dance, okay? So, practice the Foxtrot basic step, and once you have that, it's time to move for the rock step, okay? So the rock step um, is another basic Foxtrot step that we use in order to turn, yes. So you can turn with just a basic step, but it's not as interesting. So what you can do is implement this step now, which is the rock step. So the rock step is intended to turn, especially to do it at corners. So it looks like this, rock, step, turn, and side close. So we do a rock, step, turn, and side close. Rock, step, turn, side close. Rock, step, side close. And let's watch us here. So um, again, guys, you go forward left, ladies with right, always just the, the same as the basic step. So we go, forward, ladies go back, and then this is the rock step. So we go forward, and then we're gonna come back. And then from here, this is where we turn. So we turn slightly to the left, and we go side, close, yeah? And you can turn up to a quarter, yeah? Up to you. Again, we're gonna do a rock step, so rock, step, turn a little bit, side, close, and rock, step, turn, side, Close, and you can do it at home with us. Again, rock, step, turn, side, close. Rock, step, turn, side, close. Okay, great. Now we'll do it together. So first, just do this step on its own. Before you put it together, make sure you can do it on its own. So we have rock, step, turn, side, close. Rock, step, turn, side, close. Rock. Step, turn, side, close, rock. Step, turn, side, close. Now, on our website, we have a very detailed lessons of how we lead and follow all these steps and things like that. I'm gonna give you a quick overview. On the rock step, you want to basically stop the ladies on the back using your right arm. So what you do is you stop her on the back, and then you wanna bring her along with you and turn her, yes? Again, forward and stop her on that very first step, and then you both turn. So that's the key here when you're doing the rock step is to make sure you're gonna kind of stop a little bit on the back, 
Because when you start combining the basic step with the rock step, she's not going to know that you want to do the rock step, right? When you're dancing together at a wedding, she has no idea, yes? So what you want to do is you want to apply some pressure with that arm and then turn her, okay? So practice the rock step. Oh, sorry, before we continue, um, the way you count the rock step is the same as the basic, which is slow, slow, quick, quick. So you already know that. It would be slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. Okay, so the count is exactly the same. So now let's combine the two figures together. We're going to now use the basic step as our main step to get around the room, and then we're going to use the rock step in corners to turn around. Yes? So let's try that. So get together with your partner. Remember, uh, this arm is going to be at the lady's eye level. Okay? This one is going to be on her shoulder blade. Going to flex the knees, bend the le legs a little bit. Guys starting with left, ladies starting with right. Make sure you know that. And then we're going to apply some pressure forward for the basic step. So slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. So you're going to go forward, no problem, with your basic. Then right here, let's say I'm at a corner, right? Or I, I have a couple in front of me, I need to turn around. Perfect time to do a little rock step. So I go forward for one step, I kind of stop her on the back, bring her with me, and then we turn around. And look, I got all this space now, and I can now move in that direction with the basic. So again, apply some pressure forward, guys, so the ladies can feel you as you move into that new direction. Again, I got a little rock step now coming because there's a wall, right? So you want to do a little rock step and turn around. And then again, you can do the basic step now again. Depending how big your floor is, you, you might need to do 10 basic steps before you need to turn around. Here we don't have as much space, so we can stay in camera. And then we do a rock step, and I turn her, and we go this way. And we can use the rock step to turn again. So every time you're close to a wall, you can do the rock step. And then continue with the basic otherwise. Rock step. OK, now we're going to show you how it's done to the music. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And I hope uh, this helps you to dance socially at any wedding. Uh, just remember to practice uh, each step individually first, and then uh, combine them together. And if you want more in-depth lessons where we cover lots of different ballroom and Latin dances that you can dance socially at any event, please visit our website at passionfordancing.com where we have over 100 video lessons. Um, and thank you for joining us today, and enjoy.